Hey everybody, this is GliderCat, and it's time to play back in Satisfactory. We're going to pick up where we left off, but I want to update you on some stuff I did between episodes. Uh, right in front of us, I've got one of our new industrial storage containers. I'm just processing a bunch of reinforced iron plates that I have in my inventory. My inventory is getting pretty jammed full, even with the, uh, even with the mod to extend the space. <laughs> I'm running out of room, so I'm just sending a bunch of plates into a temporary awesome sink here. We've got we're generating some coupons. Can print these off. What do we have? We're up to 21 coupons. I don't have anything I want to buy right at the moment, but that's just kind of in the background. Uh, let's go into fly mode here. Some people feel this is a cheat. I agree, but uh, it's a quality of life thing that I just, I think I need for these uh, coal power plant placements. I'm not using this to um, fetch power slugs or anything. Uh, also, I've been turning down, gradually turning down the mouse sensitivity, so hopefully things will be a little less jerky as we move on. We'll see. I've been experimenting with that for the last couple episodes. Anyway, what do we do between episodes? I hooked up more coal power plants, as you can see in the distance. We've got these miners. I've got one more to do. We're going to do this one this episode. Um, but I've got these guys powered up to, or overclocked. Oops overclocked to produce 240 parts per minute. With the belts that we have, we've got what, mark three belts? I could have overclocked to 270 and that may have been a little better, right? It's only 30 more parts, but it's 30 times four mines. But the way I've spec'd out our coal processing plant or coal power generation, I've kind of planned it out to 240. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. So what did I do between episodes? I reworked the belts. They were kind of sloppy. So we've got everything feeding into this stacked belt. All of these are overclocked to 240 a minute. They're running pretty smooth. I see a little hesitation in this top belt. Reworked the belts. And then I think when we left, we just had 16 in this first row. You can see these guys are all smoking. So pretty much the same thing that we worked on. I just extended it. I did change one thing. I noticed we weren't getting enough water into the refiners or in not refiners, but into the coal generators. And so I added a second pump. That's going to take a little more electricity, but I've got two pumps for every three uh, water collectors. There's a pump here feeding in and then a pump here down there feeding into this pipe. And then I just have them kind of staggered. And those three water collectors feed eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these coal generators. And you can see that whole water line stops there and a new set start here. And that's really the only changes I made. Added uh, one more supply of water from those three water collectors and added a pump to it. Uh, let's see. I also took 16. I think we've got, yeah, we've got 16 here for the first mine and then another eight, I believe. Uh, let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. So we've got 16 for the first belt of coal coming in. Then we've got eight here and eight over there for the second belt of coal. And then I've got 16 more for the third belt of coal. So we're actually got three belts of coal being processed here. And you can see what I did with the coal routing. You'll note here, we've got this top belt that skips past the first 16 makes its way down and now it's going to feed these eight on this side wraps around and feeds the first eight going this way and then it stops so that's the end of the eight so these eight and the eight behind it feed our second belt or are fed by the second belt of coal or the second miner and then we've got 16 more kind of fed identical to the way we're doing it just behind all the coal comes in these should all be yeah everybody's smoking and I believe these coal power plants will run regardless of if you're drawing the energy and making use of the electricity or not. So that's kind of a bummer, but they're running. I also did go to the awesome shop 
and I did purchase a floor portal portal for the pipes. So that's what that little mount is. I can show you that. It's this guy right here. So I purchased these guys to make the design a little better. And then if we go underneath, I just set up another line of water collectors and I managed to squeeze it in. It just barely fit. Um, but it lines up pretty nice with the ones behind. And that's that. So now this episode, we want to get going on the this last one. This last miner. So we're going to need to route a coal belt all the way through. Do -do -do. And then somehow come out. I guess we'll branch maybe somewhere off here. Add a an, add an fourth belt. Branch off here and or maybe here. Branch, come across and feed all of these new coal generators. So let's just get to it. We need 16 of these guys. But I probably need to extend the platform. And I am going to use the fly mode for a while just for the speed of... Or the quality of life aspect of it. Uh, let's go into... Zoop mode. Boom. Boom. And I can tell where we need to stop. It's right here. I'll do one extra row. But that's where these lines... This water line breaks. That should be 16. We're not going to be totally symmetric. We're going to have some empty space over here. But later, if we expand or scale up these coal generators, we may rework it. Alright, let's get these placed. We have four... I think that's 12 there. Sixteen. That looks pretty good. And boy, you can tell it's just so much faster than the way I was doing it. All right. Now let's take a look. How do we want to route these? Water and belts. What do I want to do first? I've been doing the water, and we're going to have a little bit of a challenge here with figuring out how to route the water because underneath here, we don't have the same access that we did over there. So we're going to have to get a little creative on how to route the water. I'm thinking we need six water collectors, two sets of three. To do this whole thing. Uh, let's see where we can do that. It's a little hard to tell where the water is. I'm thinking... We, let's see what we can do. Let's see where we can place these. Uh, you... This one may not be so symmetric. Kind of thinking three here with the pipe facing this way and then we can run the we're gonna need two pipes let's take a look yeah we're gonna need to run two pipes way out this way i need three of these guys and i'd like them to look fairly straight cannot place there there's not enough water apparently Resource is not deep enough. We've got a little bit here. I kind of want to be able to pull two water pipes out of this. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not going to look quite as nice, I don't think. I'm going to experiment here for a second. We need three in this area. Or I could just do it here. 
Maybe this is the way to do it. Bring it over here and then we'll just run pipes and at least it can look decent, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get rid of these for now. I can line these up a little better. We do it like this. Let's see if I can get these actually perfectly lined up. Is that relatively straight? I know. Uh, let's see if I hit the control key. Ooh, that does help quite a bit. that we still have the power where do we want to come up on these uh let's take a look at the line behind it so ideally straight into straight into one of the uh coal generators that's how i've been doing it so let's just follow the same model we're going to come up on the third one and we're going to be back about almost two full foundations so let's add some more of this. That's where we're coming up. Let's do it here. About right how about right dead center if we can we'll see if there's enough ground clearance and then where's the second one gonna come up uh let's do the same thing oh this one maybe there and i'm gonna dip down can i get pipes to these two i think i can in fact i might need my little flashlight We have to route them from over here, and I need two to actually be routed. Let's do this guy first. And this gets a little tricky. This gets a little tricky. I'll show you the technique I've been using. Some of these guys down. Then I grab the stackable pipe supports. And I just want to get this thing up. And then I guess we'll weave around. Let's see how this goes. Uh, zoop. Zoop mode. Take this thing up to the ceiling. I bring it up. Boom. Now I can get rid of all these. I don't really need them. I'm do these one by one just so I don't accidentally take out my water collectors. Now I need to get this guy way over here somewhere. So it can feed into this and it needs to not run into these other pipes. So maybe something. This won't be perfectly lined up. Let's see if I can grab a foundation. And... Oh yeah, we know that it's going to be similar to this. Similar to where this one is. I need to bring this over. Like I said, this is a little tricky. Get our... These guys. Keep supports come up as high as we reasonably can. And let's run big giant pipe through here. Let's see how that is going to look. You all the way over. Probably need a connector along the way, don't you? Yep, yep, it's not going to reach. So somewhere around here, we need another plate. You... Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> look how short. I'm just barely short. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. All right. You win. You win, game. You win. Where was that? Just off center. That was kind of a good location. Somewhere like here, maybe? Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, you're good. All these can come down. Yeah, and I'm doing these one by one just so I don't accidentally delete something. Um, and then we're going to see if we can make the run all the way down there. You can kind of see why I did some of this, a lot of this off camera because man, it takes forever. I'm going to come up short again, right? Okay. Kind of want to leverage this. Can I get these high enough to come over here? lined up with that thing which was just off center right wasn't it somewhere like here or higher up mm, let's see I think I want to go connect to the lower one this one I mean or do we want to do that look at that I'm not going to be able to get it straight just because of the way these things want to place um what could we do what could we do about that I kind of want one lower, right? It's gonna look goofy if it's crooked. I don't know if I can actually fix this. Let's see if we can act up a little earlier. I'm gonna steal one of these, just copy it. Try down here. Not much. But maybe it's enough. Maybe it's enough to get us where we want to be. That is. It's not perfectly straight, but it's close as I'm going to get it. So I won't tell if you don't. Let's uh, get rid of all this garbage. Okay, now that I'm kind of pointing down, I can use this multi-select. Oops. Control, control. Get rid of as much of that as I can. Bam. There might be something still hidden there. That's all right. And now we just need to come over here. That shouldn't be a big issue, right? Boom. Okay, that's it for that one. Let's steal these supports and try and set up for the next one, uh, which is going to be closer to where I'm at. And it's going to line up with that port right over there, if you can see it. Get That's probably... How am I doing? Yeah. That might be the next target. Get rid of these. We'll throw pumps on these in a second. Uh, this one, same kind of thing. We gotta bring this out. I think one is all I needed. And where did I put that pipe support? Grab one out of here.
Oh, I gotta come farther out because we have to run this next to that one that I'm pointing at. So this needs to come back a bit. This does. Just let's do it over here. Boom. Take these out. So this pipe's gonna end up being on a little more of an angle. Uh hmm. We could fix that. I should have left those. Let's do it. Let's leave them. Come up straight and kind of match, but then just push out a little farther before we make the turn. That would be maybe this. So come up kind of straight and shoot over. Then our last supports were kind of over here ish. It's going to dip down, right? Um, if I can get a little bit of a boost. Just working on the getting of the height relatively close. That's not bad. That's not, I'll take that. Still too far, right? Oh, come on. It's alright. I think we're at a decent spot now. Cool. All right, that came together pretty good there at the end. Lots of deleting here. I don't like the way the supports look. Um, propping this thing up from such a distance, I just assume have these pipes kind of float unsupported. I don't know if there's a ceiling support. That would be kind of cool. There might be in the awesome shop somewhere. I didn't see one. But I may not have looked super close either. Just clean up this mess a bit. I gotta be careful over here. Like I said, I don't want to delete my water collectors or sections of pipe that I don't intend to. So that's why I'm doing it one at a time. Where am I? Down there. Gotta put power on down here, and then we gotta do another bank of these. Uh, yeah, let's hold off on power. And let's get another set of these going. It needs to... Let's copy these little ports. And place these down just like we did before. Uh, we'll match what we've got over here. So that's you. This guy, and we went all the way out to the middle of the second foundation. And then here, it's this guy. Middle of the second foundation. Boom. Second verse, just like the first, we get a route water. And these pipes are going to have to push out even further. Um, let's just do the water generators, I guess, right in a row here. Why not? Looks nice, and the control key is going to help me line them up, hopefully. Oh, doesn't like it. Why would you not like it there? Hmm. Hey, is that pipe in the way? The pipe up here that I wonder if it's causing it to clip. Hmm, probably is, right? 
I don't know that I can fix that or that I want to bother with it. Um, it's not going to want to go here. Gonna have to cheat it a little. It's a little bit off. Oh, I clicked. There it goes. Good enough. Got similar issues over here, it looks like. That's me hitting control, by the way. Hit control. I don't know why it's putting it over there. may not be perfect. Close enough. Same thing as before. Looks like I went kind of in the middle. And I get my little, my little helper guide here showing me, am I? There it goes. Grab a section of pipe. I still have to do pumps and power. We're going to get to that on those. All right. Um, we have to bring it up. do the same thing I'm gonna go from here and I'll take this guy probably pipe support fairly close Doing this, we're gonna run the pipes. They're gonna look kind of goofy. I'll probably extend the platform just so it doesn't look as goofy. But I'm thinking way down the road, we may extend this power plant. It'll be fairly easy to scale. We'll just need to rework the belts, actually. Whoops, that's why I'm kind of doing it the way I'm doing it. I need this pipe to run next to that one. I'm gonna move this out a bit. Try to eyeball the spot where this thing makes the turn. And it's gonna be somewhere here ish. And this one needs to come out even further. Uh, we'll do this one first. It'll help me see. Boom. Now we gotta route this thing all the way down over here. It's gonna take a couple supports. And... I actually came out a little too far. I wonder if I should bring that in. I... We got plenty of room. I think we've got plenty of room. That's, uh... See what we can do. It's in a, kind of a spot I'm not crazy about. What's the matter? Clearance issues. 
Ow, how can there be clearance issues? Or is it just too far? Oh, I'm missing copper sheets. Oh man, we're out of supplies. Let's um Let's make some copper sheets. I want you. I'm going to go right by it if I haven't already. There it is. Boom. Well, I've got enough ingots on me. This, These ingots basically are here from me chipping away at those resource nodes. And then uh, sometimes if I get up and go get a tea or something, I'll fire up one of these craft benches and just smelt the ore in the workbench here. I know it's not maybe as efficient. But that's how I have these ingots. And it's going to help us out right now. So let's take this up. I'm going to grab a sip of water. Let's take this up to, I don't know, 75? We've got a bit of pipe to run, but not too much. Oh, while we're here, I did something stupid. And you guys probably already commented on this, and I just haven't seen the comments. But, um... Crystal oscillators, I can make these here in the craft bench. Why does that matter? That's going to allow us to get the um, the Explorer vehicle. So we're going to do that. Um, maybe this episode, if I can get these pipes done. Maybe not this episode, looks like. Just time-wise. Let's see if we can finish this, though. This water setup. The belts seem to go a whole lot faster than this. Let's get back to it. But yeah, I could have made that Explorer vehicle a long time ago. For some reason, I was thinking I needed the manufacturer to do it. I don't. I do not. Okay, we want to make a turn. Somewhere over here. Now, this is where it's going to be hard to get this thing to line up the way we want. Um, how did I do that? Yeah, none of these are at right angles. Um, 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 let's just try type supports without putting the foundation block down. And I need you somewhere over here ish. It's not going to be perfectly right angled. That actually doesn't look too bad for a quick eyeballing of it. How much pipe is this? How much is this taking? Uh, we could do better, right? A little better than that, maybe? Let's see. We can leave that there, but we'll just see if we can bring these up. Now, see, we're going to get height issues again. Oh, man. Why can't it just work? Maybe... our port we don't yeah we don't need to come far we just need to come a tiny bit just trying to make it a little bit more of a right angle yeah we're dipping down I can't get it perfect I'll take it I'll take it it's still yeah it could be improved hmm don't like it <laughs> don't like it but I don't think I can I don't think I can get the height exactly the same as this one. There's probably creative ways to do it, but uh, I'm not going to spend any more time. Let's clear some of this garbage off of here, and then we'll do the second run of pipe. And we'll power these things up, put our pumps in, get those powered, and then water should be squared away for the rest of the power generation for now for a good long time I hope we'll see how long this actually lasts oh I should also mention between episodes I upgraded the other factories so we have um, mark two miners on just about all the other factories the copper the reinforced plates screws steel smart plating all of those factories have been fully upgraded the only one that I didn't upgrade was our 
hand craft or kind of building materials factory. We'll see. I may do that sometime soon. Doesn't seem like a priority. That factory's kind of backed up, somewhat underutilized. Thinking of adding rotors or even um, what is it, iron frames or something to that building materials factory, and then maybe picking one of those products for export and kind of scaling up the production. We'll we'll see. I'm just not sure what to do. Yeah, these runs aren't super duper straight, but they're about as good as I can do. This one doesn't need to come out that far. Just to here. Ish. Boy, it's hard to get this straight, right? So somewhere near the middle. Be here. We can come back to, it looks like. Uh, that. Boy, that's going to be real close. We'll see. The height's good. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this run or not. We may need an interim step. Yeah, we need an interim step. It's all right. Copper sheets. I don't have many more to borrow from here. That might do it. I think we're good. All right. Pumps and power. And let's get rid of this stuff. Okay. Now I can do a little more. We're not pointing at factory. Pumps, easy. Let's grab one from here. Just copy that guy. All going up. I'm looking for my arrows. I think it's this one, right? Is that going up? Okay, power is going to be an issue, right? This is already it got all the connections. These are all are maxed out. This one looks like it's got one free connection. Let's extend from that guy. We, I guess we could be using the upgraded power poles, huh? Missing wire now or something? Missing cable. Oh, man. Missing cable. Did not come prepared. Fortunately, we've got a bunch of wire on us. Back to the instant crafting here. Unprepared. Did 
this fortunately crafts up pretty fast. We've got a bunch of wire on us. I did not too long ago between episodes. I think I thinned out my inventory a bit. Because again, I mean, I've got the inventory mod, but look. This thing is loaded with too much stuff. Here's that crystal. I went to the, um, that crystal mine from a few episodes ago. We were saving up this, uh, quartz crystal into a storage bin. So I just grabbed all of it and I actually started handcrafting some of these crystal oscillators. And this is what we're going to need, I think, in the MAM to unlock the Explorer. So we've got a bunch of these ready to go. Again, I handcrafted these, took a break or something, and just let the crafting station run. So Explorer is coming soon, but that's why I got all this crystal in my inventory. That should be more than enough cable. I'll leave that workstation up. If I leave it up, then we won't need it. Okay, where are we? What was I doing? Power down here, right? Okay, those are going, those are going. That pump is doing its thing. We need to get this pump. This is where we left off here. You to you. And you have one last connection for the pump. You can help out there. This guy here. And the pump. Okay, let's just double check and make sure everything's moving. Now let's see this pump wiggling. Or this one, are they on backwards? This one's doing its thing. What's going on over here? There it goes. Takes a while to spin up. That one's going. Just make sure the water collectors are all whirring away. One, two, three. Yep. Spin, spin, and spin. Okay, water is done. Uh, almost done. Oh, it's more than that. It's more than that. Uh, yeah, we need to change this up a bit. These feed into splitters, so that guy goes. We'll finish up the water, and then next episode we'll come back and we'll do the belting, right? Uh, I need these little joints, and we need to put a whole bunch of these down. And I want them fairly back a bit, so we got plenty of room for our belts. That one's off. Let's see if I can actually snap this with the control key. Boom. Out of copper sheets. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. You guys don't need to watch me handcraft stuff. I may run back to the factory and grab some copper sheets and cables and stuff because we need to power up all of these too, all of the coal power plants and run power cables back here somewhere along here for all of these, this whole row. I will get some materials for that and I'll finish up the piping too. Connect all this pipe up. It'll look just exactly like this. And then when we come back, we'll, we'll do the belt work. That's going to take a little time too. We need to bring belt all the way from this fourth coal mine. We'll probably stack it up on top of here, come across, go all the way out. And then, like I said before, branch somewhere around here, maybe right after this connector branch. And then we'll come and shoot straight down here. And it should be pretty easy. One belt is going to do it for all 16 power plants. And then we'll be done with power for a good long time. If we look, let's see, if we look now at our power, Our capacity is at 50-50, and I think that may include the biomass burners, too. Now, those aren't running. And our maximum consumption is at 2,411. We're producing 3,600. This is the coal power plants just doing their thing. Whether you need it or not, it's going to produce. 
So that's where we're at power wise. We'll be a little better once we get uh, this last one done. This last run here done. We're almost, almost there. After this, we want to go work on a mine or a factory to produce compact coal. We got the alternate recipe unlocked from the MAM, and I'm thinking of using that compacted coal for fuel for our vehicles. Um, it's going to allow them to go farther on one load of fuel. So we'll do that next episode, and then after that, we'll have to think about what we want to do. We've got trucking that we can get put in place. We need to do modular frames. Um, man, there's just a ton of stuff to do. But this is it for now. For this episode, this is Glarecat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series. Please do consider supporting the channel so I can keep it alive. And I will see you all in the next episode.